Hello guys, and welcome back to Divinity 2 Original Sin, the Definitive Edition. Holy shit, I said it right in this episode. Anyway, we somehow survived this abomination of a shipwreck, thanks to some dude who, uh, likes reverberations, I'm guessing. And now, you're on some island, we have no idea where, but hey, we're alive. But anyway, waypoints. You've discovered a waypoint. Clean combat allows you to escape to any discovered waypoint. You can also quickly travel between waypoints. Understood. So now we're just chilling on this beach here. With, uh, not much. There's some shells. That's all that's really here. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, I guess. And we have a mini-map. Sight range in here. There are enemies ahead. Try sneaking around by pressing down. If you walk into your sight range, you'll be spawning on that star. Well then. Barrel. Gladly take the barrel. And auto saving, thank you. Oh yeah, it's void woke. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Void oh. woken! Those are the same beasts that sank our ship. Damn, they made it to shore. Who knew these things could swim? Ooh. We're supposed to keep those things at bay. Drowned and eaten by a void woken. I wonder in which order. Magic rolls. Thank you. Well, I'm sorry for a decimating part, but I kind of needed that to survive. So, uh, thanks for your cooperation. Let's see what we have here. Crafty Craft you up free. Die by the sword. Use three to learn about crafting. Advice is the battle yarn. Tie your knife or shiv, if that's all you have, to a stick or branch. Now you got a sword. All sword. So we a stick. I wonder if that actually works. So you get like. See, I'm not very familiar with crafting, so you get some rope. Oh, I need to unequip my shiv. How does that work? Get our shiv. Get some rope. You have created nothing! <laughs> Oh, so it has to be a stick. <laughs> it has to be a stick. That sucks. Well then. Oh, we're close to holding up. That's nice. I don't really care for shield shields. I like to do little mini games. So I will. 
take my bucket head and let's get out of here. Uh, squirrel. That's following me. Okay, then. Sure. I, I guess you can follow me. <laughs> squirrel already has a name. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, I guess. This is where we were earlier. What's this? Candles, flower pots, statues. The child has a small mirror in his hands. He holds it up at angles, inspecting his eyes, his chin, the crown of his head. He spots you, and his arms snap to his side. I'm not supposed to talk to lizards. Come out to pity, lizards are famous storytellers. Really? Like, what kind of stories? Famed lizard adventure, pursue the seven-headed snake for him. A seven-headed snake? That sounds scary. Can I hear it anyway? You sure. rarely tell the tale of Fisher, but despite your best efforts, you notice that your knowledge of legends and monsters is somehow upsetting the child. Are you a sorcerer? One of those guys that brings the bad void things here? Um, you must... I mean, so are you? The child looks at you straight on, unafraid, searching your face. He lifts his mirror to his nose, closes one eye, and looks at himself again. I don't see any sauce on you or me. I guess they're wrong or crazy. Uh, why are you alone, kid? Are you okay? No one cares where I go. They know I can't leave the island. It's nicer out here than inside, anyway. Uh, it's not safe out here. But you didn't die. Ask him why he doesn't see. Oh, he's getting your teeth. You really find somewhere. To... Why are you? I guess scared? I am. But it's just normal to be scared. Nowhere isn't scary. Right. Okay. Just there isn't anywhere safer. That's what I mean. Mm, You'll point. see. Okay, kid. I mean, this is a nice little area. Don't blame ya. Let's uh, continue, I guess. Oh, there's rubble. Oh, nope. Oh, that's a weird symbol. Uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. Come on, Squirrely. Where's Squirrely go? Okay, they're just showing there. Okay, you can. Wait, what's this? I thought the order would get rid of any trace of the old Source King. Source King looks like the Witch King. This statue must be a thousand years old. Wonder how much longer it'll last. This statue must be a okay, thousand okay, years we get old. It, we get it. Wonder how much longer it'll last. Okay, then. Well, that was pointless. Oh, there's something up ahead. Come on, Squirrely. Yes, I know his name, Sir, Sir War is Squirrel, but I may call him Squirrel. Oh, he hello, Red, you fucking asshole. Trying to think. Well, let's talk to you anyway. You spot a strange lizard gazing over the water with a steady, malcontent stare. His skin is of a bright, blood red color. Could he be. Y you've already talked to him, character. Come on. Yes, you recognize him from the ship. It would seem you're not the only one who survived the tentacles of the deep. Smirk and tell him his slave has come for to report for duty. This is why I let him see. Don't take it back to see like damn or see you bone pick one. The lizard turns about with the graceful ease of a dancer, or a duelist. You lock eyes with his, two smoldering embers that sizzle your very soul. And a dutiful servant you are too. The chances are I wouldn't have survived that shipwreck, had you not returned to the aid of your master down that dreadful hole. You are so lucky that I'm not an asshole and I actually like helping people. You have my gratitude. I'm only playing along with the servant thing, dude. Hand over heart, he salutes you with a bob of the head. More than a nod, though less than a bow. Doesn't do to stand idly when people are in danger. Yes, I'm sure you've all the makings of a hero and all that, but Heroine, let's not get carried okay, away, then. shall we? Nevertheless, one good turn does deserve another, so as far as the whole slave business is concerned, <laughs> Let's just forget about it. You may as well have your freedom. I, I appreciate that. Now then, if there's nothing further... What do you plan to do next, If bro? you really must know, I haven't quite decided yet. I have a frightful amount of things on my mind, hence my standing here contemplating the waves. He sighs dramatically. Drama King. Tell me, what do you see when you cast your glance over this ocean? See a crack of the wasteland. Memories. Memories. Quite so. 
the ocean is pretty beautiful. He looks out over the water once more, and so do you. A few tranquil moments pass as the waves lap against your thoughts. As for myself, when I consider this vast expanse before us, I see an empire. Rolling my eyes here. I see continents dotted with mighty cities. And shimmering along the soft curve of the sea's horizon, I picture the palaces that formed my paradise. Lost. Why, that's a rather specific thing. Of course thing. it's rather specific. Quite obviously, I'm musing over the very actual empire that I lost. Hey, you can start fresh. Suddenly, having all the air of being deeply offended, he stares at you with utter incredulity. Well, don't just stand there gawking like an ape at an abacus. Or do you really mean to tell me you don't know who I am? I mean, let's just be scholarly. The very same. I am the Red Prince, the All Conqueror, the World Tamer, the Spouse of the Sun. Spouse of the Sun. That sounds like a pretty uh heated relationship, if you know what I mean. No, of course no, you do. Know. There's no, a brief moment's pause, during which his grandiloquent pose deflates ever so slightly. That said, I suppose I must own up to the fact that I find myself rather in between all conquering and world taming opportunities at the moment. The grandeur that is my fate has a uh, hit a bit of a snag. But never you worry. For the throne I was destined, and my throne I shall have. See, so you two have this and that to sort out. He's welcome to tag along if you want. This and that? Tag along? Do you really mean to compare the fate of an empire to whatever foibles you seek to fix? Mm, you don't know my life, man. On the other hand, I really could do with a dog's body. And you've already proven to be trustworthy enough. You came back for the others on that ship, after all. I am a goody two-shoes, dammit. Fine. I accept. On one condition. For reasons I'll not disclose right now, it is imperative that I should meet with a dreamer. One of our kind's revered mystics. Luckily, I know there is one on this island. Because I've at least gotten that far. I've reason to believe one of them may be present on this oh. island. Promise me we'll look for him, and I'll extend you the blessing of my company. Wait, I already know, so I guess I'll keep I'll keep the promise. I don't usually like making promises, because I don't know if I can keep them or not, but this one I know I can keep. Jolly good. So, Jolly. now that that's settled, first things first. Even if you are as versed in the art of eloquence as I am, that our swords will be doing a lot of the talking from here on out goes without saying. As a born fighter, I prefer the perfection of the blade myself. But I'm well acquainted with the secrets of magic, and yes, even subterfuge. What say you? Well, I'm already invested in magic, being cleric and all, so, uh, we may, might as well get a fighter. Very well. Onwards, then, to victory or death. I remember when I played with a friend of mine, we made him a wizard, but nah, be a fighter. The That's Red it. Prince nods and gives you a smile that wavers ever so delicately between courtesy and contempt. Now, as you're away, you'll be traveling with a prince. Proper forms of address include your majesty, your royal highness, or, or if you're feeling particularly frivolous, my lord. My lord. <laughs> As your luck would have it, I seem to be fresh out of luggage, so you won't be required to carry my belongings. Do I look like I carry your luggage? Of course, there are other forms of protocol to bear in mind, but I'll see to it you'll pick up the rest as we go. Switching party members, hold. Left trigger and use the L stick to highlight the party member you want to control. Remember, you can also switch the party member with the certain screen. It's like the inventory. That's what I like about this game. We can, we can fucking play as the Red Prince. The squirrel's nose twitches as you approach, but the creature turns away before you can say anything. It seems he doesn't want to talk to you. So you can, like, play as other characters. That actually could be helpful. Now, Red, what do you, what do you have? In your inventory, you have a firestorm grenade, aka a Molotov cocktail, minor healing potion, resurrection, and a bag. You don't have anything, do you? Uh. Uh, you can, like. You, you can have that. And, uh. I don't really have anything else I can give you. I mean. Okay then. Let's, uh, just go back to my character, because why not? So what else is there to explore? We'll explore one little more thing, and I'll end the episode here. Also, before you ask, I literally have no idea how long this series is going to be, but I do want to finish the game. Obviously, I'm probably not going to go for 100%. Black Cat. 
Some would see this as an omen. Oh, hello, kitty. The cat's eyes are clouded and grey, but it stares at you with acute intensity, its eyes clear, and it shakes its head, confused. Yay, I am. Yeah, I fuck the squirrel, pick the cat. I like, I like cats. Now, uh... Oh no, both of them are with me. I am going to be a beast master by the end of this. World Seekers, keep an eye out for secret passages, rebellion is full hidden levers, pressure plates, and mysterious hatches. Power came through hanging vines. Okay. I think we're gonna end it here before we uh, go into the mysterious vines, because there is something coming up, I know this. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode. And until then, have, enjoy the rest of your day, everybody.